but it's uh, just a very surreal experience being an Aussie, and it's you know something that we're all lucky that is not a normal occurrence at home. It's just a weird thing here. It's yeah, very bizarre feeling. So, were you in the hotel room when this actually happened? So I was. Uh, I took my team out for dinner, and I was walking back to uh, the elevators to to get up to my room, and then got up to the level, and then. Uh, this woman came screaming up to me and just looked me straight in the eye and I just didn't know what was going on and I could tell that something was not right and she just said, we need to get out of here, there's a shooter behind, there's a shooter behind and he's firing and then I heard the, the gunshots obviously which is like a something out of mo- a movie, it was like a hundred, you know, a hundred odd shots just like one after the other, it was hardcore and so I just pushed everybody into an elevator and um, got them down and we ended up in like the kitchen somewhere in the back of Mandalay Bay and, and I ran into the kitchen and said, hey guys, there's a shooter upstairs, we need to get out. And no one really understood what I was kind of talking about and obviously they were in shock and then finally they kind of came around and I pushed everybody outside and we hid under bushes for a couple, for like three, three and a half hours until a SWAT team came and found us and got us out of there. Mate, if that had been a few minutes earlier, you could have come face to face with that shooter, Brian. Well, yeah, we. It was interesting. I I ordered a dessert at dinner that took extra time to um to actually make, and you know it was on the menu saying you know if you order this it's going to take longer. And I ordered that, and then uh, yeah, if it was five minutes five minutes earlier, it would, would have been right there, and rooms were adjoining. So who knows? Just just crazy. But I mean, this guy arrived in Vegas on Thursday. I arrived on Saturday, and he's had over 10 um, machine guns and all this ammunition in his room. Far out. Now that we know who the shooter is, do you remember crossing paths with him in the hallway at all? So, and this is the thing, is, you know, in Vegas, obviously, there's thousands of people constantly. You just would never know. And we were just all saying that, you know, when we're here, we're just kind of head down, bum up, and yep. focused on what we're doing. And you don't really pay any attention to whatever else is going on. So, you know, I, I wouldn't even know. Yeah, well, that's right. You know, there's some incredible stories of bravery coming yeah. out of this situation. And, I mean, it's such a horrible time, but it's encouraging to know that people care about other people. Isn't that right? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, from the hotel room, some of my team, you know, because the, the gunfire was so loud. Like, these these are full machine guns. Mm. And they said they could see down, because our hotel obviously looks straight over the, the concert, they could see people scattering, but you could physically see people getting hit and falling to the ground and, and being killed because, you know, there were so many of them. But it was just, you know, it was like sweeping shots. So it was pretty full on. Yeah, right. well, we're glad you're okay, Brian, and our thoughts are obviously with everyone involved. Yeah, thank you.